This morning we're sitting down with Fred Goodwin. Fred is a chemist with more than 30 years of experience in the construction chemicals industry and he's a, a fellow scientist at BASF Construction Chemicals. Fred, you're speaking on a hot topic today, preparation of concrete for rapid coating application. Tell me about interest, tell me about why interest in these applications is growing. Okay. Well, the concrete is a pretty darn good material. It can be very durable, but like any material, it has weaknesses. It doesn't like acids. It survives much better if water is kept out of it. I personally think gray is a beautiful color, but a lot of people like other colors as well. Coatings can solve most of these problems. Coatings isolate the concrete from deleterious chemicals such as acids. They slow down the rate of carbonation and chloride ingress, which causes corrosion of the reinforcing steel, which is one of the primary factors for concrete to deteriorate. And you can also create many interesting aesthetic effects, enhancing the beauty as well as the durability of concrete. The faster you can put a coating on, time is money in construction. So by following a series of steps that I'll try to cover in my presentation, beginning with the design of the concrete and steps to do before the concrete arrives at the field, all the way through inheriting an existing piece of concrete and its associated problems, how, what you can do to produce a durable and satisfactory coating application on this rather difficult material to coat. Okay. Well, you've talked about some practices and as well as products that are continually evol evolving to meet these demands. Mm -hmm. What do you foresee coming down the pike in this arena? Well, concrete, unlike a lot of other materials, isn't that well understood. We've got a pretty good idea of what you start out with, with cement and sand, water, and admixtures. We've got a pretty good idea of what you wind up with 20 years from now when the concrete's fully hydrated. What happens in between is still very much of an art. And one of the nice things about construction, we're always thinking of better ways and better things to do to improve the quality and speed of construction. As I mentioned, speed is a very important factor in construction, time is money. The faster the owner can have access to the structure, the happier they are, often they're willing to pay for that. What can we do to improve the speed? Well, we can create concrete that is more tolerant to moisture uh, sensitive coatings, having a lot of the moisture consumed during the hydration early on. Uh, we can isolate the concrete from the ingress of moisture from the earth underneath through vapor barriers, moisture retarders. We can apply uh, moisture mitigation treatments. So if the concrete has moisture in it, we can apply a material or a system to make the coating that's applied on top of the concrete more acceptance of that moisture by isolating the moisture from the coating. Well, um, in addition to this presentation that you're giving today, we're really excited to have you as part of our inaugural D&D 2014 conference and exhibition coming up in May. Um, and you'll be speaking on the same topic to a different crowd that's, um, we expect it to be very broad as our readership is, with including architects and specifiers and facility owners, as well as the contractors who are most, who know the most about this. Um, what do you expect this kind of audience to take away from this topic? Well, hopefully I can answer their questions. It's amazing how fast you learn when someone asks you a question and you have to think of an answer. Um, providing them references and further information that they can learn and solve problems before they become issued. To follow a systematic step of series of steps to increase the chances of success of their coding application. Uh, there's new materials, new techniques, as well as a lot of techniques and materials that have stood the test of time. So we'll be talking about all of those, and hopefully we'll have questions from the audience that we can, if I don't have the answer, I can find the answer out, because yeah. I learned by doing this too. We're really honored that you're participating in the D&D 2014 conference, and I wondered what you're expecting to take away from it. Well, I work in a lab, I develop products. 
and in the lab, it's very easy to get focused on what's going on on the bench. But the reality is, problems exist in the field. And what really allows me to stay on the payroll is by solving those problems of the applicators, solving the problems of the owners. In order to do that, I have to understand their needs, I have to understand their pain. So it's all, often there's difficulties in installing coatings, difficulties in providing durability. So the better I can understand that situation, the better I can address those concerns, and the better products we have, and the more happy owners we have. Now this is such an important topic, Concrete, that um, I'm really excited about the fact that we've um, persuaded you to come on and join our editorial staff, basically as a regular author of a new, our newest um, column, which is going to be focusing on concrete. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you have in mind with that? Well, uh, I believe we have three editors that are, or three authors that will be rotating through a sequence. I'll be covering the topic of existing concrete. Existing concrete is being coated probably because there's a problem already occurring. That is, the patient's already sick. So what to look for, how to assess the situation, is the patient already dying? Often we wait until the concrete's falling apart before we even consider doing anything about that. And our options become more limited. The longer we wait, the more deteriorated the concrete gets. Um, what I hope to gain from authoring the column is further insight into the needs of the industry. I really, really appreciate if there are questions, if there are issues, if they could be sent to Design and Durability magazine, and we'll try to address those in the columns as we go along and get the feedback from the readers. The column's for the readers. Mm -hmm. It's not just for me to write something, it's to try to learn by researching a topic and addressing a need of the industry. Yeah. And with Fred's background, we know it's going to be something of great value for the reader. So again, we're really excited to, to bring you on at, uh, as a regular with this regular column. Um, Fred mentioned that we're looking for reader engagement, and uh, we really encourage readers to send in their questions. Uh, you can always send them to me at editor at durabilityanddesign.com. And we look forward to this being a really uh, robust interaction between readers and, and our subject matter experts in concrete. Fred, it's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Well, thank you very much for having me.